Good morning, everyone. I wish you happy Palm Sunday. Today we celebrate uh, the triumphant entry of our Lord Jesus Christ into the city of Jerusalem. But if you think about it, was it really triumphant? We know what's coming ahead. We know he's going to be betrayed. He's going to be arrested, beaten up, and then he's going to be crucified. Um, yes, it is triumphant because we know that not only he's going to die, but more, more importantly, he's going to be risen from the dead. Although death and crucifixion is ahead of him, uh, and as we enter the Holy Week, we are going to commemorate and remember and be present in those crucial moments of our Lord's life. But then we know whatever happens this week, Holy Wednesday, Holy Thursday, Holy Friday, every single day during Holy Week, the crown of all of it is going to be his triumphant resurrection. So I wish you all a blessed Palm Sunday. Uh, today we have this beautiful ceremony of the opening of the doors and then um, we symbolically knock on the doors of the gates of heaven and ask the Lord to open up the doors of his mercy in front of us. But first of all, we have to open up the doors to the Lord before we ask him to open the doors so we enter. So today Jesus is also trying to enter your personal Jerusalem. So are the doors of your heart and soul open to him? Are you going to let him in to your life? So um, this is the reminder every Palm Sunday, every year as we celebrate, that Jesus shows up every Sunday and every day in our life. And every day is a Palm Sunday for us. And he wants to enter into our personal Jerusalem. And I'd like to conclude with this cute story about a little boy who was sick on Palm Sunday and he couldn't make it to the church. So he stayed home with his mom while his father went to church, uh, participated in Badarak and returned with some palm branches. When the kid asked him, why, uh, why do you have palm branches? He said, well, when Jesus entered into town, everyone welcomed him with uh, palm branches, waving and singing Hosanna. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. He says, I'm so sad now. I'm really disappointed. One Sunday I didn't go to church and Jesus showed up. The story is cute, but we have to know that Jesus shows, shows up every single Sunday and every single day. So open the doors of your heart, open the doors of your life and your soul, and let the king of our life have a triumphant entry into your personal Jerusalem. God bless you all.